hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here so for today's video we're going to do something just a little bit different so in today's video we are going to have an Ulta haul followed by a book haul so you guys want to see what i got well then definitely keep watching Okay guys, so I wanna start off this video by saying that this is not a big haul at all. I used points for Ulta and I didn't get that many stuff and I used a gift card for Books A Million. You guys know how much I love books. You guys seem to really enjoy that video that I did with Paige where we both sent each other a box full of mystery books that we had no idea what we're sending each other. You guys seem to really enjoy it and you guys seem to want me to do a lot more book content. So I'm kind of like slowly incorporating it into my channel but it's mostly gonna be mixed with makeup because I just love makeup so much. and. I don't know, I kind of find like books to be like a private thing for me just cause like they really are my escape from reality. So they're kind of like our personal a little bit. <laughs> okay, so I wanna thank each and every single person who has used my discount code for Jacqueline Cosmetics, who has nominated me for the American Influence Awards. Apparently you guys can do more than one nomination. You have to have multiple email addresses. I did not know that, but you can nominate me once a day. I also want to say uh, thank you for someone who donated to my thanks. I did not know I had this feature on my channel, but I just recently discovered that there is a thanks section on my video where you can like thank someone for like $2 for the video. I had no idea that was a thing. So just wanted to thank you. You know who you are. I don't want to like call you out, but thank you so much for doing that because <laughs> that was so sweet. The $2 I was like, holy shit, that's a thing. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Ulta as well as what I got at Books A Million. Like I said, this is not a big haul at all. I just really had to get some items and I just wanna share them with you. So we're gonna first dive into my Ulta bag. Now it may seem like this is gonna have a bag full of a lot of products, but I promise you it doesn't because there's only one item in here that's causing it to be a big bag. The first thing I picked up was the Good Molecules. This is the niacinamide brightening toner. This is formulated with niacinamide, vitamin C, abertone, and licorice right and licorice root extract to brighten and improve appearance of enlarged pores. Now, this was actually gifted to me a while ago in PR from Good Molecules. I want to say when I was still living at my one bedroom apartment, so two years ago, and I really, really, really loved that toner, but I did run out of it, and then I used their brightening toner in its place, but I just recently ran out of that as well. So now I had to go pick up a refill. I think this is like $12. It's really not that expensive. Let me see, that's Petco. This is, oh, $14, $14. I, I freaking love Good Molecules. If you guys have been on my channel, um, earlier a couple years ago you guys have seen me talk about this brand so often i really do enjoy their products they are so affordable you guys can find them at ulta and uh, i'm just excited that i was able to stock back up on this because like legit <laughs> i had run out and i was like i need it so i'm so glad i saw that okay guys so next time so next i picked up the tarte maracuja juicy lip plump in the shade white peach i realized that i had this item i had it and it was on my lip haul thing but when i was doing my declutter i put a section away of products to donate and i accidentally put that product in there so i didn't have it anymore and this has been going viral all over tiktok because of how amazing this is so i'm actually gonna wipe my lips i'm wearing luna today but i kind of want to try this out i don't have the plumping version of it and i never had a chance to try it because it ended up getting discarded unfortunately so let's try it out i am just going to wipe this off so we can see and this is actually like worth the hype. Uh, also, while I was there, I was trying to find like some drugstore products to review for you guys. And I was having trouble. I could not find anything new, like drugstore wise at my Ulta, like online I could find stuff, but physically in the store, I was having a hard time finding stuff. Like they didn't have the Care Bear stuff at all. Um, they actually didn't have like the L'Oreal bronzer that I really, that I really wanted to try. They didn't have that either. And I'm like, oh my God, you guys don't even have anything. All the Morphe stuff, like the new Morphe blushes were all sold out. I'm like, okay so i'm not gonna really pick up anything so i didn't really get any new makeup besides this but i'm gonna quickly line my lips this is the bourbon lip liner from jacqueline cosmetics my ride or die absolute favorite okay now that that's all over the lip we are going to take this lip plumping tart maracuja lip plump in the shade white peach like i said this has been going viral all over tiktok so i'm gonna take it i'm going to pump it up 
like so, and then we're just gonna put it all over the lip. Okay, so, so okay, so this actually cost me $21 for this that I had and no longer have. Uh, I got it in a poxy charm a while ago. Um, I really do like the color of it. I think the color is actually really pretty. I could definitely feel it plumping up on my lips. It's pretty thick. Like it really is pretty thick. It smells like coconuts mixed with mint. Um, it has a little bit of stickiness to it, which is which makes me kind of like, oh shit, because I'm not the biggest fan of stickiness. But I really do like the coverage. I like the way that it has a nice high shine. You could definitely feel the plumping sensation. It's just a very, very light burn. Um, it's nice. It really is nice. I don't see the difference between like this and like my Makeup by Mario lip plumpers, my Too Faced lip plumper, my Lawless lip plumper. Um, there's so many other lip plumpers that I have that like do like the same thing. It's just a really pretty color. I like the application of this. I think this is that perfect color that goes with so many different liquid lips out there or lipsticks out there. Um, I do really enjoy the color of it. I don't like how my lips look. So I'm definitely gonna keep wearing it, but, but I don't really know why it's going viral, but it is, so I have it. <laughs> Okay, so next I picked up the Briorgio. This is the Superfoods hair pack. This is the mango and cherry. This is this is for um, oily hair. So this is this one's for oily hair. Um, this has no harsh sulfates, no silicones, no parabens, no um, phthalates, no artificial no artificial dyes, no DEA. And it says that this online is supposed to have a natural derived enzyme that helps to balance oil production. So I have, as of lately, been fighting like oily hair. I don't know what is going on. Corey says it's humidity, but literally look at that. I washed my hair yesterday and it's already getting really oily. And it's really annoying because it's getting to the point now, either I have to wash my hair every single day or I have to put in a shit ton of dry shampoo. And it's just really aggravating because one, since I do color treat my hair, I do not want to sit there and wash my hair every single day. Now I do wash my hair every other day, but before it used to be able to just to last for on the second day, that's when I start to get oily. But the day after the wash, it'd be fine. But now it's getting greasy and I have to wash it every day. So I'm like, shit, what do I do? So I was really, really battling between getting this or the um, ACE. I think it's called the ACE or the Hue, H-U-E, and is their um, apple cider vinegar shampoo. I heard wonderful things about that shampoo. It's like a pH balancing shampoo, but unfortunately I was only able to get one or the other because of my points that I had. So I knew I wanted to really try something. I heard wonderful things about this. I really do love the Briorgia brand. So I got this in its place. I do want to pick up that apple cider vinegar shampoo at some point because no matter what I use, I have to make sure I have a gentle cleanser on my hair because I do color treat it. And because I do use purple shampoo once a week, I just want to make sure that I I'm using the right products for my hair, but I really want to try something that controls the oil because like I said, I have been getting greasy every single day. I don't know what's going on. It's really, really frustrating. I'm just like, I can't wash my hair every day. So this is the mango and cherry balancing shampoo. I want to know how this smells. So I'm just going to open it because I really do love how Brie Watcher products smell. Oh, wow. That smells so good damn good it smells so fruity holy shit this oh my god mango and cherry mixed together Woo -wee, that smells so good okay that gets me really really excited now the reason i got this pack is because for 49 dollars you can get both when this is like 29 dollars by itself so i thought it was a really really good deal so i picked up the entire kit i'll definitely let you guys know what i think of it and if it really works i'm going to try it out um tonight or tomorrow in the mor morning but uh i am just really like wow that smells so so good so i wanted to get something else clean that doesn't have any harsh chemicals that way my hair has a nice color preservation to it. I know me, I, at some point I will pick up the Dr. Hugh apple cider vinegar shampoo because I really want to try that one out as well because it's a pH balancing shampoo that's perfect for color treated that's perfect for color treated hair and it doesn't strip away any natural oils. It just helps to control the oil production. Guys, I'm not kidding when I say that I'm super oily and greasy. It's just part of my DNA. It's just part of my genetics. And now I'm having issues with my, with my damn hair. That's why it's thrown up in a messy bun today because I did not want to put on dry shampoo. Did not want to deal with it. And the reason why I didn't want to deal with it is because my hair straightener broke. 
I've had a Chi hair straightener for over 10 years and two weeks ago, it finally crapped out on me and stopped working. And I have been devastated ever since because I love straightening my hair. My hair is naturally super, super, super wavy, but not in the pretty waves, but like in the frizzy, holy shit, did you electrocute yourself style hair. Do you guys know what I'm saying? It's like, poof. It's really big, it's really massive, it's super, super wavy. Some parts of it are straight, but the rest is super wavy, almost to the point where it curls, but in a really ugly way. Not a pretty way, I promise. So I love straightening my hair, I love having straight hair, and unfortunately my chi crapped out on me, and Corey got that for me. I wanna say like a, our first or second Christmas together, and it no longer works. So I had to buy something in this place, and no, I did not go crazy on a hair straightener because I didn't realize how expensive hair straighteners are. I mean, God, most of the cheese were the cheapest one was 79, but most of them go to 150 to 200. The fuck? The fuck? No. No, I'm fine with using Hot Tools or Con Air, like cheap ass shit that still freaking work. So that's what I did. I bought the Con the Infinity Infinity Pro Con Air. This retailed for fifty four dollars, and it's rose gold. Super pretty. I looked up a lot of reviews on this and a lot of people who said that they actually own a Chi ended up switching over to this because they just love the quality of this. Their hair stayed straight for days with this. And as much as I love my Chi, it was amazing. I'm fine to invest in this for now. And if it doesn't work, well then eventually I'll get something that does, but it's a hair straightener. Why would it not work? I mean, just like all those curling irons out there. You ha I love my beach waver, but I'm pretty sure Con Air, Hot Tools, Revlon, all of them work just the same. It's just more about the name on it, you know? So I'm excited to have this. <laughs> that means that I can finally have like straight hair again. Right now, if you guys have been seeing me with my hair down, it isn't because of the fact that I have straightened it. It's because I used my Revlon dry, blow dry brush. I use that and I still doesn't, still doesn't get perfect, but Yes, so that is what I got at Ulta. That's the only thing I got. I went in there specifically for the straightener followed by the shampoo, uh, the lip plumping oil, and the toner was an added bonus. But those are like literally the essentials that I had to get. So that is it. So that is it for literally for my portion of the Ulta haul. But now we're gonna move into the book haul where I did kind of spoil myself. Thank God I had a gift card, but I kind of spoiled myself because I love reading. So, so a couple weeks ago, you guys saw me do a video with Paige where, um, we gave each other a hundred dollars worth of books that we wrapped up and did like a date with a mystery, like a mystery date with the book style unboxing. And you guys seem to really, really enjoy that. And one of the books that she had gifted me was The Silent Patient. I finished this in a day. I finished this book in a day. It is absolutely phenomenal. If you guys don't know, I do have a Goodreads. I don't talk about it often, um, just cause I don't really post on it often. But if you guys wanna follow me on there, it's just under Allie Dawson 89 like all my other social media. But I did finish this book in a day. It's truly incredible. I really did enjoy the plot twist. I did not see the plot twist coming until towards the end when something like was indicated that I was like, wait 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 and i was like holy shit it's such a good twist that i really enjoyed this book i want to know if he had written any other books because he was a phenomenal writer i loved his writing style and i love the twist on this if you guys get a chance please pick up the silent patient it is absolutely worth it so many of you guys told me in my video how much i will love this you guys love this and let me tell you this is the shit this is the shit do you guys know what this is about? It's about a woman who brutally murders her husband and she's sent to a psych ward and then she never talks. For like five years, she remains silent. So a psychiatrist goes and sees her to help her open up and tell her story as to why she killed her husband. Phenomenal read. Now, the next book I actually bought myself, but I did buy this book for Paige and it is The Perfect Marriage. It is about a woman and her husband that have a lake home in Virginia and she's an attorney, he's an aspiring writer and he has an affair with one of his neighbors for like, a year or so and then he finds her dead body in his home and his wife has to defend him to determine whether he's innocent or guilty and i was so like oh this is gonna be so good this definitely is okay read it's okay um it's very very repetitive i found it to be very repetitive the husband was a little whiny bitch i got really annoyed of it but i do enjoy the perspective of reading from the wife's perspective and the husband's perspective i thought that was actually pretty cool but i will say the husband was very freaking repetitive i wanted to i started to get annoyed going oh my god i get it you know what i'm saying and i found the ending to be super super predictable i predicted the ending at the very beginning of the book 
So when I got to it, I was like, mmm, shocker. Do you know what I'm saying? So while it is a decent read, it's a quick read, it's super repetitive and um, definitely is like okay book. If I had to rate it on a star level, I would say it's like a 4.5 to maybe a 5 if that. So a little disappointed, but it is what it is. Now, this book right here is the book that Paige got me. Her, this is the book that Paige got me. It's called The Wife Between Us, and it's all about reading in between the lines. It's about a, uh, I'll just read it to you. It says, when, you're, when you read this book, you'll make assumptions. You will assume that you're reading about a jealous ex-wife. You will assume she's obsessed with her replacement, a beautiful younger version of her, a beautiful younger woman who's about to marry the man they both love. You'll assume you know the anatomy of this love triangle. Assume nothing. Twisted and deliciously chilling, The Wife Between Us definitely explores the hidden complexity of the marriage and the dangerous truth we ignore in the name of love. Read between the lines. Now, I now there's multiple parts to this book. I just started part two. First part, it's actually great. <laughs> I'm actually really enjoying this. I did not see one of the twists that already occurred. I'm like, oh shit. Like, I did not see that. The way they wrote this was really well thought out. And it's written by two authors. And I had said in my, my video that I was very against two authors for the mere fact that I can definitely distinguish when one writer starts and one writer, when one writer stops and another writer picks up where they left off, you can see the difference in writing style. And I think the way that they did in this one is that one person wrote, but they both came together for the ideas. They both told the story, but only one physically wrote the book. So you can't really see a difference in style, which I do appreciate. And like I said, I'm only halfway through. I'm on page 193. And there's like 300 and something pages. So I'm halfway through the book. I'll probably end up finishing that within today or tomorrow. And I'm actually really enjoying this. I think Paige did a good job with this one. So anyway, now we're going to move on to my book haul. Like I said, this is something I really do share. But you guys seem to really enjoy my book haul. So you guys seem to really enjoy that video. So I'm just going to show you guys kind of what I got and like why I got it. So the first book I picked up was the Bridgington, The Duke and I book. You guys had told me that I should definitely read the book series that it has a lot more sex scenes in it and it's really dirty and erotic and it's such a great read. And I had to ask you guys in my video, hey, <laughs> what book comes first? And you guys had to tell me it's The Duke and I. Now I did buy this version. I didn't realize that there was another version of this, like the, the original cover until after I bought it. When I was like leaving the store, I was like, ah, oh, shit. Because for me personally, um, I'm very anal when it comes to like my books and how they look on a shelf. And I like everything to be kind of in uniform together. So yeah, this is not going to be in uniform with the rest of the series. It's all right. I mean, the actors are really pretty. I enjoyed the first season. So I picked this up. Hopefully I like it. We shall see when I start reading it. It'll probably be more of like a summer read than a like read right now. Next, I picked up the Hook, Line, and Singer book from Tessa Bailey. And the only reason why I picked this up is because Paige bought me the It Happened One Summer book. And I think this could be a continuation onto that series. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I remember seeing her talk about this and advertise it. It could not be related. Maybe it's not related at all, but she's talked about wonderful things, how much she loved It Happened One Summer. She said it's one of her favorite books. She was so excited about this one. So I just decided to just to pick it up. I mean, it does say right here, it's, it's a follow-up to It Happened One Summer. So it is a follow-up. So I mean, why not? So I grabbed it. Again, this is more like a summer read. Then I picked up a Colleen Hoover book without merit. Let me tell you, my bookstore had an enormous section dedicated to just Colleen Hoover and all her books were finally in stock. Usually when I go to the store, none of her books were in stock, but this time everything was in stock. And I know Paige got me Ugly Love, I think. Oh, no, she got me, she got me hopeless, but she got me hopeless. But I know, I know her and Alyssa want me to read like the entire, like maybe someday series, ugly love series. It happened with us or ended with us stuff. Like all these like emotional Tessa, all these emotional books. And I'm just kind of like, I don't want to sit there and fucking cry. I don't want to do it. Like I just, I love reading, but it's hard for me to fully get into romance. Um, that romance usually happens for me during the summer when I'm sitting by the pool with like a nice little cocktail in my hand maybe then I'll enjoy like a nice summer beach style reading so I'm not really into romance but you know both Alyssa and Paige are definitely into romance and they're trying so hard to get me into the genre so I'm trying I'm expanding my knowledge I'm expanding my field and trying 
new things. Hopefully I enjoy them. So I did pick up her book without merit because this one didn't seem like it's fully just about love because Verity wasn't. Verity was kind of like a mystery thriller and it was really good. So this one, since I don't really know anything about it, I'll just kind of tell you guys. And I haven't seen anyone talk about this, I have not seen Paige or Alyssa talk about this. So I might've gotten something they don't have, but it says the Voss family is anything but normal from the irritatingly perfect older siblings to the little half brother who isn't allowed to do or eat anything fun. Then there's marriage. She collects trophies she hasn't earned and secrets her family forces her to keep. While browsing the local antique shop for another trophy, she meets S Sagan. He's witty and I and I he's witty and idealistic and sparks renewed life into her until she learns that he's completely unavailable. Merritt retreats deeper into herself, watching her family from the sidelines when she learns a secret that no trophy in the world can fix. Fed up with the lies, Merritt decides to shatter the happy family illusion that she's never been a part of, leaving them behind for good. But when her escape plan fails, Merritt is forced to deal with the staggering consequences of telling the truth and losing the boy she loves. So I thought that might be a little interesting. We shall definitely see. You know, time will tell. And then next, I picked up because my my store had a mystery thriller section. And there's only one little section they talked about mystery thrillers, and they have like a whole mystery section. But these are like the top, like number one book stock, book talk rated books, right? So I picked up the girl from Widow's Hill. Never heard of this book before. Never heard of the author, but it says Arden. Arden, May Arden Maynor was just a child when she was swept away while sleepwalking during a terrible rainstorm and went missing for days. Strangers and friends, neighbors and rescue workers set up search parties and held vigils praying for her safe return. Against all odds, she was found alive, clinging to a storm drain. The girl from Whittle Hill was a living miracle. Arden's mother wrote a book. Fame followed fans and letters, creeps and stalkers. Every year the anniversary, it became too much. And as soon as she was old enough, Arden changed her name and disappeared from public eye. Now, a young woman living hundreds of miles away, Arden goes by Olivia. She's managed to stay off the radar for the last few years, but with the 20th anniversary of her research, with this 20 with the 20th anniversary of her rescue approaching, the media will inevitably renew its interest in Arden. Where is she now? Soon, Olivia feels like she's being watched and begins to sleepwalk again, like she did long ago, even outside her home. Until late one night, she jolks away in her yard, and at the feet is the corpse of a man she knows from her previous life as Arden Manor. The girl from Widow Hills is about to become the center of a story once again in the propulsive page turner from the New York Times bestselling author, Megan Miranda. Now, I was like, okay, sounds kind of interesting, but what really got me was the amount of praises that this book had received. And a lot of the praises were from authors that I personally have read and enjoyed. So I'm like, okay, if a lot of, if a lot of like authors that I personally read and enjoy definitely recommends this book, well then you know what? Let me give it a chance. It's a mystery thriller why not so i picked this up i hope it's good i'll definitely like, give you guys an update later on definitely will update it on my like goodreads account but it sounds really interesting like i said i'm really into like the fantasy fantasy sci-fi is my absolute favorite 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 genre but i also really do love mystery and thrillers and that's kind of what i'm into right now is mystery thrillers i just finished a fantasy book called three dark crowns i have three more books in that series to read but i kind of want to read some mystery thrillers in between because these are like standalone books and that's a series and sometimes it's just easier to quickly go through standalone standalone books than just a series so <sighs> i feel like i'm talking so much all right last but not least i picked up where the crawdads sing I saw a trailer for this not too long ago. I didn't know it was a book. And then I saw this sitting here in the, like, the mystery thriller section. And I was like, ooh, it's a Reese Witherspoon book club book. <laughs> and it says, for years, rumors of the Marsh Girl have haunted Barkley Clove, a quiet town in North Carolina coast. So in late 1969, when handsome Chase Andrews is found dead, the locals immediately suspect Kaya Clark for their so-called Marsh Girl. But Kaya is not what they say. Sensitive and intelligent, she has survived for years alone in the marsh that she, comes, that she calls home, finding friends in the gulls and lessons in the sand. Then the time comes when she yearns to be touched in love. When two young men from town become intrigued by her wild beauty, Kaya opens herself to a new life until the unthinkable happens. Now, this is a record-breaking phenomenon that has captivated more than 12 million readers around the globe. It's soon to be a major motion picture. It says the Business Insider Defining Book of the Decade, the number one bestseller of the year, and the number one international bestseller. So it has so many awards to it. And then when I open it up, again, it has tons of praises from people that I know and have followed. I mean, like literally, there's like two whole page dedicated to just 
raving to just people raving about this book. So I was like, you know what? I saw the trailer for it. The trailer looked really interesting. I told Corey I wanted to go see that movie. So why not read about it first before I see the movie? So I picked this up and I'm excited to read that one, especially if it's like has sold more than 12 million copies like worldwide. That's actually phenomenal. So anyway, that is my small book. That is my book haul and my small Alta haul. I know this is video is just so kind of random, but it's kind of nice to like spice things up and just kind of sit back, relax and share things with you guys that I love most books and makeup. <laughs> that is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see like more like book stuff like this, let me know. I'm not going to do them as often as Paige does, but I could definitely like, I don't know, talk to you guys about books, really show you guys books that I buy. So you guys could be interested in, if you guys are interested in reading it, you guys totally can. But, um, yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. So I do post four to five videos a week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channels, R for Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, a huge thank you goes to all these beautiful, wonderful Patreon members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in the very next video bye we're gonna have an alta haul mixed with a book haul so you guys want to see everything that okay guys so i'm sorry by saying that um this isn't like a, a big haul in any means <laughs> and then i happened to stop by the bookstore and i had um then I stopped by the bookstore. I had a... <laughs> okay, guys. So I want to quickly start off by saying, in today's video, guys, I'm going to show you guys what I got at... <laughs> I heard wonderful things about that shoot that, that a couple of weeks ago. So a couple of weeks ago, I did not see the plot. <laughs> in order... And goes to see her and, and hope... Goes to see her eventually when I do get the... It's not going to be uniform with the rest of the series, but... And at the feet, it's a corpse of a man. She... And, and at, for years, rumors of the Marsh Girl has been haunted Bark. And it says that record breaking phenomenal that this is a, and it says the, the business insider to finding the book, uh, the business insiders to finding this book as a,